in, in our house, we've kind of structured everything around uh, our finances where for a long time, Avery stayed home with the kids. You know, she gets to go out and train, be a trainer at a gym now and, and get out of the house because all the kids are old enough to be in school and, and she can fill up her time that way. And so for a long time, um, I would just make the money, put it in the bank account, and then she would distribute it out to household finances however they needed to be distributed and when whenever that didn't like fall in place and i was struck with because it, it, it was hard for her when i was struck with uh we need more money you know, like unexpectedly right you know anger would pop up right and and i didn't always handle that the right way and what ended up happening was if i lashed out in anger about it in a situation that i created right like like i i could have chosen to take on all the bills and like allocated all the money and, and all that but we wanted a partnership so um whenever i would act out negatively towards her it would fucking shut her down mm-hmm. right and now she doesn't trust me to be able to come to me with these types of problems right right and, and so that's a negative outcome so enough enough practices at that because i didn't fucking do it perfectly right off the rip right like it was it was a process because she would come to me with a financial issue uh i wouldn't be expecting it so she would be going through and like figuring out okay when's the best time to tell him this Mm -hmm. you know and i don't want to be that fucking guy right you know i don't be that kind of husband even though i have been um and so she's she's going through this thing now our energies are at different levels because she's worried about how i'm going to react to this situation that I helped create, right? And so finally she comes to me out of fear and necessity, right? Like, like here, we got to deal with this. Mm-hmm. I react negatively. She shuts the fuck down. Now she doesn't trust me. Now we don't have an open line of communication, which is absolutely impossible to have a, a working and harmonious relationship without, you know, workable communication right and so like the whole thing just became a mess because of my inability to react properly in that situation so after enough times of that you know it made me feel bad Mm -hmm. luckily like i never felt great like you were saying like oh you know me fucking making her feel like shit has made me feel so great and Mm -hmm. now that was definitely the right thing to do processing it and being prepared knowing that it's going to come next time because you're going to be in fucking traffic you're going to have financial shit come up you're going to have situations that you're unex- that, that are unexpected happen in your life after enough times of practice with that it gets a little bit easier to come up with the solution and expect that feeling to come up and go okay i remember how this felt and i remember how i reacted and i remember how me reacting made me feel Let's try something different, mm-hmm. right? And that's what program and process is, right? Trying something, hopefully it works, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, try it again. Because mm-hmm. the good thing about all this stuff is we always have the opportunity to try it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>